Hey everyone, it's Tyler from Zephyr Epic here and welcome to the second part of the double release date. We have a box of 2024 Team Canada Juniors. It is a 15 pack per box, six card per pack product in which you get one base set, outburst parallel, four autograph memorabilia and or tech cards, four clear cut and or non auto slash memorabilia parallel cards, four base set pattern foil board and or purple pattern foil board parallel cards, six program of excellence and or prospectus momentous cards, and then 15 base set red foil parallels. Uh, the main big change to the set this year is that there are no longer the Team Canada women in the set from the checklist, at least, and from no mentions on the box, which honestly to me is a bit of a disappointment. I hope that it's a sign of them doing a dedicated PWHL set, but for the most part, they have actually, from a collecting and value standpoint, have increased over the past couple of years with the popularity of women's hockey increasing, and I think that's only going to go up over time. So, uh, a little bit disappointing there, but at the same time, it's Team Canada Juniors, so you're hoping to get, you know, a really good rookie patch auto. Obviously, the main player that you are hoping for from this is that box just kind of shredded open, is Macklin Celebrini and Gavin McKenna, Connor Bedard's cousin. Uh, yeah. All right, so it brings in the outburst from series one that you know, well, the flagship series that you know and love as well this year. But yeah, here's our first look at the base cards. So here's a Mathis Rousseau. And this set is typically where you look for those top prospects and their base cards can kind of sell decently well to start off with. So, um, but here's a Rousseau. There's the back and a Macklin Celebrini right there. So that's again, the main guy that you're looking for in this set, I would say you've obviously got TJ Ginla, Braden Jaeger, uh, a few other pretty good players as well. So uh, put that to the side because that's one that we're going to want to uh, focus on. Here's our outburst. These are very outbursty. Uh, Maxime Massé. And then a red. So this is just your red. It's kind of got that reddish pink tone to it of Samuel St. Hilaire. There you go. And then proud of the program of Bruni He had a really good camp for... Uh, for the Penguins, sent back to the Kamloops Blazers. We'll probably get traded at some point because I don't think Kamloops is supposed to be the best team, but we'll see. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, Team Canada Juniors is a pretty fun set for just, like, collecting if you're into prospects and Team Canada Junior players. Uh, again, value-wise, it typically ticks up whenever a player, an undrafted player, gets a lot of popularity. It's one of the only places to get their cards. So, green tree, green tree on the pride of the program. There's a Massé and then a clear cut. Uh, future Stardom of Massey. So there's a clear cut card and a Malcolm Spence Pride of the Program Red with a Easton Cowan and Connor Geeky cards as well. So you'll typically see, again, their value kind of go up leading into their draft year at the actual World Junior events or if they pop off in the NHL and don't have NHL cards yet. So uh, Maverick Lamoureux, uh, Merrick Vaneker on the jersey card. So a little bit feels like a little bit smaller jersey swatches than previous years, but also design wise, I like them. So not too upset about that. Obviously not numbered on that. Uh, De Noye on the red and Tija Ginla on the pride of the program. As you can tell, you kind of get a lot of stuff per pack. It is a, yeah, you should get a decent amount of hits. Um, oh, Macklin Celebrini and Gavin McKenna. I don't know why I didn't mention Gavin McKenna. So that is the guy that we're looking for right here. <laughs> Gavin McKenna on the pride of the program. That is who you're looking for. Macklin Celebrini as well, but like Gavin McKenna is who you're hoping for. That's who Connor Bedard's cousin is. I don't know why I got them mixed up. Matthew Schaefer on the foil board. I forget what specific one that is. Matthew Wood. And then a Ryder Ritchie and a Gavin McKenna. So yeah, Celebrini you're also looking for, but Gavin McKenna is a big one, I would say in the set that you really want to get early on because he won't have a ton of NHL cards coming up. And yeah. Carter George, jersey card of Maverick Glamoureux with a Maverick Glamoureux red and a Owen Allard on the base card. Of nope, some of the base cards have a little bit of damage to them. I don't know, my brain just got so confused. There's just like, why am I talking about Macklin Celebrini? It's not Macklin Celebrini. And <laughs> I'm just like, right. That makes sense. Uh, Nathan Rousseau, and then a blue prospect momentous. It's an electric blue, I think is a specific set. Yeah. Of Henry Muse to 199. 
Um, we'll put that in its separate pile, actually. We'll put that with the clear cuts. Program of Excellence of Owen Allard and Denton Matejchuk on the Pride of the Program red. So you can kind of get reds in all the different base parallels and stuff. And then Atai Nelson, uh, Pride of the Program. Yeah, I, I don't know why my brain mixed Celebrini and Gavin McKenna up. Gavin McKenna is definitely who you want to see pulled in this because very, very good, won't have a ton of cards yet. And hey, speak of the McKennas. Uh, his base set stuff from like his team set was selling insanely well. Jordan Donovan, uh, Frankie Morelli on the Prospect Momentous. We got a Tej Aginla on the red and a Ole Josephson and uh, Noah Warren to round things off. All right, Matthew Schaefer, uh, Porter Martone. He's going to be a pretty high pick this year, so definitely worth keeping an eye on. Uh, Pride of the Program goes up there. Pride of the Program is just essentially an extended base set, but Matthew Wood on the purple pattern foil board, Pride of the Program. Uh, I guess we'll put that here. Yeah. Carter George on the Pride of the Program red. Uh, Connor Geeky on the regular Pride of the Program, and Jet Luchenko who uh, need the Flyers, so might be a little bit of a bump in value there. But in years past, you typically got one rookie patch auto per box, or well, one patch auto per box, not rookie patch, but hopefully it kind of stays the same. Here's a Porter Martone. Uh, Kayshawn Aitchison. Another Kayshawn Aitchison on the foil pattern board. Ryerson Leanders on the Prospectus Momentus. Uh, Maxime Massé. And Jack Ivankovic. I'm probably messing up on some of the name pronunciations. Uh, I will try and learn them over time here, but you should have at least probably an auto and a tech card left. Uh, Denoyer. Marton. Let's go on the Prada Program jersey. These are probably a little bit tougher to get than the regular ones. Pretty happy to see that. Easton Cowan on the Prada Program red. And Noah Warren. All right. We want to see a McKenna patch auto. We'll hit the Martoni. I forget if it's Martone or Martoni. Uh, Vanneker, uh, Program of Excellence Exclusives to 100 of Carter George. So they're a little bit different. I don't know if we pull a red one. I don't think so, but yeah. Uh, that's a little weird. The regular one right behind it. Uh, Allard and on the red, Schaefer and Braden Jaeger on the pride of the program. We should have one more hit left, theoretically. Uh, Cartson Wetch on the Pride of the Program. Uh, Nate Danielson on the Electric Orange to 35. That's not bad. I'll take that to 35. Oliver Bonk and Matejchuk. I like Matejchuk. Uh, we got Malcolm Spence and Nate Danielson again. So, And you're just kind of looking for the good prospects in this, and hopefully you hit you know the right low-numbered one. And again, McKenna and Celebrini are going to be the big two, but definitely Celebrini for the foreseeable future will be the big one. Cole Bodin on the autograph, the blue auto of the program of excellence. And then we'll put that there. Dume on the red. Uh, Bodin, another pride of the program. And two packs to go here. So I think we technically have two more numbered cards, right? Or no, one more numbered card. Muse. Uh, hey, there we go. There's a Macklin Celebrini number card. I'll take that. Uh, Electric Blue to 199. Spencer Gill on the program of excellence. Bonk and Charlie Ellick. There we go. Nice little Celebrini Blue. Oh, celebrate that. That was bad. I'm sorry. That was bad. But overall, pretty, like, I don't know. Decent box, nothing super fancy, but some cool cards. There's a Geeky, there's a Red Kopf, uh on the Pride of the Program. Easton Cowan on the Pattern Foil Board, not bad. Furlong on the red, and then finishing things off with a Jet Luchenko and Liam Greentree. So overall, it's kind of what you can expect from your average box of Team Can Juniors this year. It's definitely way more focused on the men because there aren't women in the set. Um, so yeah, mainly you're looking for McKenna, you're looking for Martoni, you're looking for Celebrini, players that don't have NHL cards yet. That's obviously going to change pretty soon for Celebrini. The minute, uh, their NHL cards start coming out, you see their value start dropping. So 
Anyways, that wraps things up for the video. I'd say that's probably our top hit is that or the Martoni jersey. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. And apologies for that Celebrini uh, McKenna mix up. I don't know how I got that mix mixed up, but yeah, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to leave a like. We will have a link to boxes in the description below. Take care and have a good rest of your day.